in the featherweight division at UFC Vegas 89. You got Fernando Padilla taking on Luis Pajuelo. Pajuelo, 8-1. Padilla, 15-5. Now, Padilla's strange is taller at 6-1. He's 27. Luis, 29. Uh, man, Padilla's got a long reach, too, for a featherweight 76 inches. That's wild. Pajuelo, 70 inches. So, 6-inch reach advantage for Padilla. They both fight right-handed in terms of activity, 5.5. Uh, significant strikes per minute for Padilla, Pajuelo. Limited action at the Contender Series, 9.2 significant strikes per minute. But that'll come down. And neither guy really landing takedowns, at least so far. Now, Padilla, 1-1 uh, in the UFC. Won by KO over uh, Juliana Rosa. That's surprising. But lost to Kyle Nelson back in uh, September 2023. Pajuelo getting a win at the Contender Series. Uh, over Robbie Ring by KO in the first round. I remember that fight. You know, it didn't last long either, like three and a half minutes. Paul Huelo did give up a takedown, but got out of it. So he's got to be ready to defend takedowns potentially. Um, but the thing is here for Paul Huelo is Padilla's got a, a lot more experience than he does. 20 MMA professional fights. You know, that that's going to help Padilla out big time in this fight. Although Padilla has lost four fights outside of the UFC as well. So it's not automatic. But I like Padilla in the experience to win this fight. I think it's going to go the distance. And I like Padilla to win one way or the other, even if it doesn't. And that's going to be in the significant strikes really in on the ground game if he has to. So we'll see if he utilizes it. But in my opinion, he moves a 16-5 featherweight division. UFC Vegas, 89.